so um, regarding logistic regression the main difference are in the outcome the outcome here are the decometers that mean you have just two value whether uh, there is um, uh, disease or no disease or the, the subject is alive or dead um, and so on uh, so in, in this project here uh, we have 115 patient we have their outcome whether they they have been improved or not improved we have the intervention on the management whether it was placebo or we give them the treatment and also we have the duration of the symptoms before we intervene so the question here whether the management and the duration can predict the outcome or not so to do logistic regression we go to analyze regression then binary one uh, point here before uh, proceeding is the difference between binary and multinominal multinominal that means your outcome has more than two uh, uh, answers let us say that the answers here are uh, died or improved or still diseased or you have three different classes of outcome while the binary one you have just two outcome so we select the binary one and in this menu here you have to specify your dependent variable or your outcome again it should be just binary decometer then your covariance that can predict your outcome should be here now there is two uh, points that we have to uh, uh, observe here first of all if you have research before done and it showed that one of these variable can predict your outcome you can put it as blocked so if it if the duration is very important you can put it as block one then proceed if you don't have any uh, data about that then you can put all of them in one block so we'll select both of them and enter now you have to tell us space is which one of them are categorical if there is categorical variable so we know that the management is categorical because it was placebo or treatment so you go to categorical and you select the management as a categorical variable now how the space is code for this category you have different form you have the indicator symbol repeat deviation different one basically it differ by the way of coding whether it is 0 1 1 minus 1 0.5 minus 0.5 and so on so I leave it in the indicator now if you if that category is more than two uh, values then you have to tell the SPSS he has to compare uh, the uh, the outcome to which uh, variable first or category first so here we have just two so it doesn't make any difference I'll show you just how to change it so I will select the first and change continue now if you suspect that there is an interaction between your uh, covariant you can select those uh, covariants and instead of hitting the blue button here you select the interaction button here now how 
the space is still the border we have whether for or enter that mean all of them together in one formula or forward or backward I'll select here the, uh, the, the forward one that mean he will put one at each step to build the, the, the model of uh, regression save is to save the residual mainly the most important thing is the studionized and standardized also there's a unique predicted value for registered regression which is the probability and the group membership also for checking of the influences check for the cock average value and df beta all of these will be saved for us in the data view option very important to check the ci for the odd ratio uh the history classification plot hosmer let me show goodness of fit and case view listing of the residual after that you will hit ok and this is your outcome first of all we'll give you some summary of your data that you have 113 patients and there is no missing then he will tell you the coding how did he code code uh, your variable so he, how he coded your outcome zero for not improved and one for improved then how he coded your categorical covariant so placebo zero treatment one then he started building the model initially there was no covariant just a constant and it give you minus two log likelihood a value of 154 with a coefficient of the constant of 0.3 which is moderate minus 2 multiplied by log here to have the same distribution of the, as the chi-square now the prediction here without any variable was 57 percent he didn't include in this equation the management the duration and or the duration by management However, the overall statistics of chi-square of 9.8 was significant. That means adding one of these variables will improve the prediction probability. I will stop here and I will continue with the next clip uh, to how to examine the rest of the output.